Hello, I'm Frank from UPDF. Welcome to our video on PDF editing tools. Today we'll be comparing two popular PDF editors, Soda PDF and UPDF. Whether you need to edit, convert, or annotate PDFs, both tools offer unique features. You can download UPDF via the link down below and you can visit the Soda PDF website to download it. Then follow along to compare these two tools side by side. Let's dive in. Let's start with compatibility. Soda PDF only supports web and Windows, while well, UPDF is available for iOS, Mac, Android, Windows, and its AI features can work on the web. If you're somebody who has a lot of different devices with different systems, it's highly recommended to use UPDF. The next thing you need to consider when choosing between the two tools is the price. If you need a yearly plan, you can find that with UPDF and it only costs $39.99 US with one license working across Windows, Mac, Android and iOS, while Soda PDF costs $87 US for the Windows only version. Moreover, UPDF has a lifetime license for only $69.99 US. After you purchase, you can have the software for a lifetime and you can get lifetime updates and upgrades for that price. However, you can't find this with Soda PDF. They don't offer a lifetime subscription. So it's obvious that UPDF is less expensive and a better option when you're considering the price alone. Now let's check their features. Although both tools offer the most common features like reading PDFs and editing PDFs, annotating PDFs, converting PDFs, doing OCR on PDFs, they do have big differences. UPDF has many features that Soda PDF doesn't have. You can't find the batch print, batch insert, and batch encrypt in Soda PDF. However, if you go to UPDF, click on the batch PDF, then select the batch print, batch insert, or batch encrypt, you can do it. Here, I select batch encrypt, I add all the files, I set the open password or the permission password, and then click on apply to add the password to all the uploaded PDFs. Now let's go to Soda PDF. You can find the print, encrypt, and insert page features here, but you can't do that as a batch. For example, click on the secure, restrict permissions, and you can only add the password to the open PDF, not a group of PDFs. Also, you can't find stickers in Soda PDF. When you open PDFs with UPDF, you click on the comment, select the stickers feature, and then you can add stickers to make your PDF look really beautiful and add a lot of visual appeal. Also, if you want to split PDFs by page size and bookmarks, you can only use PDF. It has three options to help you split your PDF by page count, by size, and by book bookmarks. With Soda PDF Windows, you can't find the split features. If you use the online Soda PDF, you can split the PDF, but just by page count. The last feature I want to compare is the AI features. Although you can find Translate and AI Assistant button in Soda PDF on Windows, when you click on it, you'll be brought to the online tool to use, and this is very inconvenient. However, if you use UPDF, you can have the AI in your PDF editor. Moreover, after you click UPDF AI, you can have more features than Soda PDF AI. You can not only chat with the PDF and translate the PDF, but you can also convert the PDF to a mind map. You can chat with AI and chat with an image. For example, if I want to convert a PDF to a mind map, I upload the PDF by clicking on the Get Started, then I click on Mind Map, and my PDF is converted to a mind map. In conclusion, both Soda PDF and UPDF have their unique strengths and weaknesses, but UPDF offers broader compatibility and more features at a much more affordable price. Why would you pay more for less? Download UPDF and give it a try now. Let us know whether it's what you need in the comments down below. Let us know what you think about it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more comparisons and tech reviews. Thank you for watching.